I've shown you reading existing content. I've shown you how to build with the system as a partner. The last thing I'm going to show is how to work with the system to accomplish a task that none of us like to do, but we all have to. So you may have guessed, the thing we're going to do is taxes. Now note that GPT is not a certified tax professional, nor am I, so you should always check with your, your tax advisor. Um, but it can be helpful to understand some dense content to just be able to empower yourself to, to be able to sort of solve problems and get a, get a handle on what's happening uh, when you could not otherwise. So once again, I'll do a system message. In this case, I'm going to tell it that it's tax GPT, uh, which is not a specific thing that we've trained into this model. You can be very creative if you want with the system message to really get the model in the mood of what is your job? What are you supposed to do? So I pasted in the tax code. This is about 16 pages worth of, of tax code. Um, and there's this question about Alice and Bob. They got married at one point, uh, and the, here are their, their incomes, and they take a standard deduction. They're filing jointly. So first question, what is their standard deduction for 2018? So while the model is chugging, I'm going to solve this problem by hand to show you what's involved. So the standard deduction uh, is the basic standard deduction plus the additional. The basic one is 200% uh, for joint return uh, of subparagraph C, which is here, okay, so additional doesn't apply, the limitation doesn't apply, um, okay, none of these apply. Oh, wait, special rules for taxable year 2018, which is the one we care about, through 2025, you have to substitute 12,000 for 3,000. So 200% of 12,000, 24,000 is the final answer. If you notice, the model got the, to the same conclusion, and you can actually read through its explanation. And to tell you the truth, the first time I tried to approach this problem myself, I could not figure it out. I spent half an hour reading through the tax code, trying to figure out this like back reference and why there's subparagraph, like just what's even going on. It was only by asking the model to spell out its reasoning and then I followed along that I was like, oh, I get it now. I understand how this works. And so that I think is where the power of the system lies. It's not perfect, but neither are you. And together it's this amplifying tool that lets you just reach new heights. And you can go further. You can say, okay, now calculate their total liability. And here we go, it's doing the calculation. Honestly, I, every time it does it, it's just, it's amazing. Uh, this model's so good at mental math. Uh, it's way, way better than I am at mental math. It's not hooked up to a calculator. Like that's another way that you could really try to enhance these systems. But it has these raw capabilities that are so flexible. It doesn't care if it's code, it doesn't care if it's language, it doesn't care if it's tax. All of these capabilities in one system that can be applied towards the problem that you care about, towards your application, towards whatever you build. And so to end it, the final thing that I will show is I, a little other dose of creativity, which is now summarize this problem into a rhyming poem. And there we go, a beautiful, beautiful poem about doing your taxes. So thank you everyone for tuning in. I hope you learned something about what the model can do, how to work with it, and honestly, we're just really excited to see what you're going to build. I, I've talked about OpenAI evals. Please contribute. We think that this model, improving it, bringing it to the next level, is something that everyone can contribute to and that we think it can really benefit a lot of people and we want your help to do that. So thank you very much. We're so excited to see what you're going to build.